Now here we are in OBS Studio 18.0.0. What we're looking at here, and this is the first time I'm doing this, is looking at audio monitoring on Windows for OBS. So taking OBS in this example, we have um, a situation where there is some text which is scrolling by. What I've got on here and if we just check something by going to Mixer, you can see that his desktop audio 2 and audio is off and they're the only two items. So what we're going to do is mix our audio before we send it out live somewhere. You also notice that desktop audio and desktop audio 2 are in fact turned off. So what we're going to do is set up a scene where I'm going to send some background music and also a media source which happens to be a video to the live stream. When I hit transition, this happens. And you can clearly see there are two audio bars and we can hear nothing. So we don't really know what's going on. We don't know if the live stream is going out in a very terrible way where the background music is overpowering the media source. So we need to rectify that. So what we can do is we can go back into Mixer this time you'll notice, and if I just put this over on the side, we can see that our two sources are background music and media source 2. Background music and media source 2. So we bring those in, and this time what we want to do is we can monitor it, but not send it to the live stream, or monitor it and output it. This example I'm going to monitor. I'm just turning it off because of course if I speak over these two things it's going to be problematic and you won't hear me. Maybe that's a good thing, haha. Ha. So if we go and look at the video which was monitor only and let's just bring that up a little bit. Let's come back out again. Now this time I'm going to turn them both on, close this panel and then go to the mixer and I'll show you what happens. So oh. So now I can go in and say, OK, what is going on? Let me do a balance here. And I have to keep muting them, otherwise you can't hear me. So let's end it here. So in other words, just to finish it and say, here's our object, which in my case, I hope. Now what you notice, I've turned them both down. So background music sounds like this at 50%. There we go, very nice. So the last part is when we just transition these through one more time is we hit it. If we take a, a park scene here and um, we zoom in. And I've turned them both down once again. What we can find is if I turn the desktop audio on we can get a good sound mix. Let me show you what I mean. If I bring these both up. Hold it. So let me show you how we can get some better pictures of that using this technique. So what we're going to do is mount then turn them off is what we can do is let's do a mix here where we keep the media 2 full and background at half let's say like this bring that right in let's just bring it in a tiny bit more here we go there we go and i'm going to focus on the ring there oh hold on a second there's a chap there Let's get him moved out of the way and you can see that we're clearly recording this right now. Now also we that, that would do it. What I was doing demonstrating there is that we can have the background and the media and the overall desktop audio. But notice the overall desktop audio maybe that you're recording or sending out will be a mixture of these. Uh, let me end it there because uh, this is video one. I may do more on these and remember there's lots more going on with this update.